Hello everyone, welcome to IFS YouTube Insider Videos. My name is Nalin Baddegama and I am Director of Product Management of Application Lifecycle Experience. As you would already know, IFS Cloud Bill Place has a defined process to apply monthly service updates. And as part of our continuous development process, now we have introduced repeatable and streamlined process to obtain release updates as well. These release updates are on a six month cadence as compared to monthly service updates. Whenever a new release is available, customer can go into the lifecycle experience portal and access the release update studio from there. On the top, you can see all the tasks you can perform, which will guide you through the release update process. And here you will see a summary of all the actions performed by different users. So let's start off with the impact assessment and it will give you all the required instructions. And it will also mention the update analyzer should be installed in your local PC or laptop. And this update analyzer tool can be downloaded from developer.ifs.com site. This also allows you to select the target release update that you can perform the impact assessment on. So this is the output you get from the impact assessment. It will show you how many files have been processed, what are the high, low and no impact files, and the nature of the conflicts as well. So from here, you can determine what sort of efforts you would require to apply this release update. Right, so once you're happy with the impact assessment, you can request release update, which also trigger an internal notification to IFS representative so that they also can assist the customer during the release update process. And also this will again remind you to run the impact assessment prior to request release update. Now I have done the impact assessment and request release update also confirm. And once that is done, I can apply release update. So this functionality will pull the release update to the customer baseline repository and do a baseline build. This is how it looks like when the release update is applied. Once you apply the release update, the rest of the actions will be enabled so that you can do an impact analysis, do a customization upliftment, and apply release update in a customer solution repository. And finally, create the delivery as required. Once the release update is deployed in the use place environments, the build place also can be cut over to the release update so that the customization project can be started on the new track, meaning on the new release update. And the release update summary table would have all the details of each step and who performed and all the history associated with that as well. So as you can see, it's a well-defined, repeatable and a consistent process, which customer can use time and time again to apply release updates on the IFS Cloud Platform. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to the IFS YouTube channel.